Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your support on the channel. So today we're going to be doing another look with this beautiful BH Cosmetics Love in London palette. So far I've been really impressed with the pigmentation and the blendability of it. So today I really want to go in with this t-shade all of the lid it looks absolutely stunning um so yeah we're just gonna crack into the video um because i've got a few things to do today as per usual um so i just need to find my brush okay so let's see if we can use some shades that i didn't already use in the last free look so this is day four look for um, so we're going to start off with, I think I'm just going to go on with Big Ben. I know I've used that before, but the transition shades, I have pretty much used all of them. It's when it comes to the deeper crease shades that I haven't used. Yeah, that's really deep. Probably put a little bit too much on the brush so I'm just gonna blend that little bit out my nose keeps running I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more Yeah, so it's only a light um, transition shade. If you're going very lightly, that is, you can actually build it up to quite high intensity. Say it like that, that's quite dark. So we're just gonna go in with a blending brush by Primark. Blend it out a little bit. I'm just going to add what rest is on the brush, blend it out again, sorry that's in your way. And the deeper shades in the palette I am going to try and use one I haven't already used before. Um, so let's just, might just try and go on with this other Urban Decay brush I've got that came out of the Kristen Leanne palette. Um, so Piccadilly, this one here, I don't think I've used it, if I have it would be on the outer V, sorry not on the outer V, on the lash line. So as you can see that's quite pigmented, um, so we're just going to blend that in with tapping motions so about an hour ago at one o'clock this afternoon I heard big bangs like really really close to the house really big bangs it was starting to frighten me it looked out of the window and it was fireworks fireworks going off at one o'clock in the afternoon when there is no darkness so you can't really see what they're like in the sky anyway um it's probably just kids messing about but Oh my gosh, that did scare me so much. I think I'm just going to have this on the outer V. Quite dark on the outer V like this. Got a bit of fallout there, but that, I come to expect that from darker shades. And Piccadilly is the darkest in the palette that isn't like um, a shimmer so if um, you, 
You can hear a bang while I'm filming this. The setting fireworks off again. Um, it's bad enough that they do it in the evening, but in the afternoon, scaring all the little kids that are playing out. Right, I think this eye needs a little bit more of Piccadilly on it. on this eye, on this side. Right, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in with my accent brush and we're going to go into this beautiful tea shade. It looks absolutely stunning. I don't know if I'm going to have to spray it, but we'll, we'll see. It's like a metallic grey blue, that's what it looks like. Yeah it is. And I did have a vision to use this in the inner corner and then London, which is that blue there, on the inner portion and outer portion, but I don't want to do that. If it comes to it that I haven't used all the shimmers, which I think it's going to, um, I think what I'll do is just do another look with it at a later date. Now that's the pigmentation without it even being sprayed. I am going to spray it so you can see if it's been like the others. The others that I've sprayed, um, so the other eyeshadows that I sprayed didn't you couldn't see much more pigmentation in it um, so I just want to see if it's the same with this one it's absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna do a best palettes of 2020 by the end of the year and I bet this is gonna be in it I absolutely love this palette for me the only thing that it doesn't have in it and not everyone's going to be bothered about that, is a cream eyebrow shade. I think every palette should have that in it, but not everyone feels the same way as me. Other than that, it's got everything. It's got a black in it, dark browns, um, so yeah. This eyeshadow is the bee's knees um so what i'm gonna do now is put that cheeky in a corner highlight in just for the inner corners i'm not going to show it you because i've been using it all week so you'll know what, what it is the light butter guys Right, and then we're going to spray this brush and we're going to go back in with tea. And just see how much more pigmented we can get it. I've sprayed my mirror. Yeah, it is a little bit more pigmented. I wouldn't say you can notice a huge difference. Yeah, we're probably going to go in with Piccadilly again. Let me see what I've got. I don't have a blue matte here. So, yeah, we'll go in with Piccadilly. And blend that in. Yeah, there is a ton of fallout, if you can see that there. Right, and then I'm just going to 
blend it out again because I've got hooded eyes eyeshadow always goes on the top here so now it's gone patchy here so we're gonna have to put a little bit more in I think right yeah when you have hooded eyes the eyeshadow always transfers a little bit so you are like it transfers here which is what that eye has done it's not too bad on this eye um what we're doing now eyeliner so we're gonna tie it line with the Too Faced Love eyeliner which is also in Project Pam and then we are gonna put some of this Poundland mascara on phone keeps buzzing. Glad I turned it on silent I remembered for once. Right and now we're gonna go and grab a lipstick. I'm gonna sort out this fallout and grab that lipstick and I'll come back in a second. Right so the lipstick of the day today, I don't know what this is gonna look but I felt like a metallic, is this Makeup Forever in... it's from the Rouge Artiste Intense line and it's just in the shade 13 so that's what it looks like mm, really not sure how this is gonna look um, but yeah let's put some on yeah I actually don't mind it so this is the finished look um, this is the eye look I am living for that tea shade which is all over the lid. I think it really makes the eyes just pop. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful. I think tomorrow we're gonna go in with London. How can I not try London? Um, and then, I don't know, part of me really wants to use Duchess, but then I've got Lolly that I haven't used it. I haven't used Biscuit. I don't know if I've used Prestige. So there's three eyeshadows there that I haven't used, um, but it is only five days, five looks. I should definitely have um, done this series as a seven days, seven looks. My mistake was that I didn't look at the mattes to shimmer ratio. There's a lot more shimmers than there is mattes in the palette. But yeah, um, we are only doing five days, five looks with that. Like I said, I can bring it out on another day and maybe do a shot my stash get ready with me using this palette as well just so you can see what the other eyeshadows look like um really really impressed with the quality of the palette so far like i said it's great pigmentation the shimmers just glide on like butter um you don't really need to spray your brush but i have been doing both i've been showing you how it goes on dry and also how it goes on wet and there's not much difference um but i do like to show you both ways just so you can see so guys this concludes the video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate that you've taken the time to watch the channel today please like subscribe share and comment and i will see you in the next one bye guys